On the full fight mode against see me on esports where Phantom last pick assassin is going to be a phantom assassin if i'm not wrong the on esports last game that they played the uh, pa they lost uh, at the sun ray the second hook hits and real in trouble being slowed by db one hit only igra dives in that's the first blood oh my okay Henry was trying to dodge, he knew that it was coming. I kind of like this uh, plan from Team Army Genesis. It's just like taking turn to farm. Surely Naman is going to become another damage dealer in late game. Look at that. Pause and avalanche, easy kill on top. A little bit mistake by Bell. Bell's also got a lot to prove himself. Okay. That's another kill on Say. That is the uh, Mongolian duo on top from Reeves. Just to let the Dragon Eyes uh, damage the tower. Naman go from behind. DB solo kill on the bomb lane against Enril. 6 0 already. Neon Esport. They gotta pick themselves up. I think that, that here we come with a haste. If they can get the two kills back, maybe they can change the momentum around. Pull it back in. Half HP already. Avalanche are trying to stop. Oh, teleport it down by DB. Now finally, they finish off that Roman, but can they get away from the scene safely? No, I don't think so. Oh, after Mod is still on haste. Asura, however, killed that say. Oh, man, he's running out of mana. Oh, got hooked back into the fight once again. But DB being silent, so he can't do anything more. The rest of Team Army Genesis might have to just run away. AG saved the day by Warriors. Oh my, shooting Sunray and healing dealing at the same time. That's crazy. Bell somehow still stuck in the middle of Team AG players. But he, man, very, very tangy. It is so hard to take down that Bell with the physical damage that AG is gonna come for a Bell. It's going to be the first big team fight for we force around here. They start a fight on the support. Jumping in with the Dragon Tail. Oh no, Say dropping quite low. He's just trying to run away, but Warriors is shooting the Sun Ray on him and put the Ares in the middle of the fight. And that's not looking good. Warriors falls. Of the mode had him. He's going for more. Bow lining, pulling back. Naman dropping low as well. Reaper side for the first time in the game. Okay, that was a night nice counter gang by Team Neon Esports after a dis- I'm gonna catch him. Let's see that say. Okay, placing the Obsidian Awards, night open by Naman. Uh, Avalanche toss, throw that say into the middle of the fight, but however, what a save by that Chuan with the hook shot, stun all of them, and that black hole on four being stopped immediately. Oh my, Reaper sign not gonna kill anyone. Henry finish off that by Reese and Bell slash off that Romy. The rest of Team AG needs to retreat, but in the body bags. Oh my. Oh no. Pick up. Is he gonna pick up the, the damage? Seems to be a good time to open the fight for the Dragonite. Oh. I'm kind of surprised that it was Team AG who getting gone on first. A Reaper side trying to kill that party dropping quite low. But hey, he's still there. Here we go with the eggs. Turn the BKB and finish to off him. The egg will also fall. So Barry fall down to only three. And then Asura. Oh my dear. Oh no. Naman. Wow. On players, that's not looking good. Neon getting gone on because, of course, Army Genesis saw them from miles jumping in for the Dragon Eyes and aiming for that save. Two down, one down, real quick. Next one is going to be the Phantom Ascent in turn on the BKB, trying to run away from the fight, but he getting hooked back into the power cox. Jumped away. Still chasing. Dragonite uh, to the back line. Blue eye, white dragon, finish off one. Save fall as well. That 1.3k damage, critical. On top, oh no, Storm Spirit getting caught by the black hole. Um, 65 a second until his response again. I think AT is going to put the pressures on Neon to force a buyback. 
this time around. You haven't got the stone. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom And their own base. They might turn the game around, turn the BKB, and Pot just have to run away from the base first. Oh no! Pushing it out from the tier 3 tower. Reaper size already comes in. Virus 4 and will finish him off. Turn on the power cocks, flying in once again for Naman. Oh, but he can't do anything much except uh, um, avalanche. But hey, DB is still there. He's so tanky. Along with the Dragon Eye, two tanky heroes invasions. Oh, going in. And Asura has him. Triple kill for the Dragon. My goodness. But we can't take the credits away from that punch. He absorbed all the damage for his teammate. The Dragon is still there though. A hook. Low HP already into a list member. Almost kill. That's crazy. DB. This is sufficient. Go in first for Naman. You know that they are a lot advantage, but hey, don't underestimate the power of that PA. PA slash Naman or first and this member stop that PA forever standing still. Oh my. And the next victim is going to be Sean. Was hit by the Sun Ray. Dying its own power cocks. Next is going to be Enril. But Enril finish off Asura with the Reaper side. But somehow get hooked back in and falls. Oh my. I'm going to go for the uh, Alpha mode. And he's falls. Naiman, not good. But that's his job, he throw himself in. Try to distract the Neon Esport from aiming the core. That's so close. DB. In the front line, he holding on to the Aegis. He'll walk to the target. Look at that run and also the damage from the dismember. Oh my god, that punch. Straining on him. Very the Eagler dies in, and now the hook comes out. Bell can't even fight Patch toe to toe, trying his best. He deals a lot of damage with that Romy, but he can't stand the damage from the Rot and the Dragon. And it's a GG call for the first game. Army Genius says 1 in the first game of the series. 1 no, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a great game. What a great game for the first one of Team Army Genesis. They went from behind. Okay. I started to do something on Paris. Here we go with the Power Cox. Stuck in there. Playing high and seek. Oh, 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 stuck in a room! And that's the first blood neon strike him down! <laughs> he was stuck in it. Sean, harassing DB. I think the main job of the uh, Sean next assassin is to. Oh, wait, wait. Some gang going on down the middle lane at AG. Catch that other the moat. Even at the moment. Hold it back in. Back to bottom lane, nothing much. Oops. Ay, ay, ay. I missed the fire I'm sorry about. That's a fight going down to the river with the avalanche and the torch. Alpha mode still looking pretty healthy with the half HP. He pull it all back. Asura is gonna be the one to take the risk around here. Asura dropping quite low. Here we go. Charging. Keep out of a light shooting in. It's just not enough to kill out of that mode. But before he bow lightning the way he falls. Baris turn on the power cox. He's stuck in the cox. Okay. Neon walking away. Chun one hit away. Chun falls. Two down for Team Neon Esports. Army Genesis turn this one to be a successful fight. Going in, might catch one more. One more, come on. All right, uh, take it down to the power cox. Ooh, that was so close. Okay. AG, try how good you do. That matters how we'll always come back with an item. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Going in. 
Barrel avalanche and a toss into the power cox. Lock in there. What are you gonna do? Stab, side blades, uh, try so hard to stay alive. But he goes out eventually. Let's take a look at the fight at the triangle one more time. Throwing some spinning pill in and chewing the crypt swarm. They got something back, but that was a great trade uh, by Team Army Genesis. That fast as a Medusa. He at the fifth place in terms of network. Let's take a look at this one. A nice initiation, a great start by Avalanche on the toss and setting in some light. Asura need to just walk away. First one for his Maurice. And Asura about to fall, ball lightning in, try to pull him back in erecting vortex, but just the perfect timing using the toss. And it's gonna be Mimu Falls uh, in the air of that Medusa, the rest is trying to fall back, and Rue, killing spree ended by Wormy and Medusa. Oh my dear. Templar Assassin arrived late in the scene, he can't seem to find the target, now it's time to just walk away, Avalanche and a token, and it's Bell Falls, no. Next. Impel on two. From the hunter now being hunted. Sean. Spiker pace. Going in a sore place. So good. Oh no. All right. At a triangle, what's gonna happen? It say, uh, he's stuck in there. Oh. And to the bottom lane. I like this one. I like this. Small three man looking for a big fight in middle lane. Flying in first, trying to catch. Let's see the catch. Oh, he got that clockwork. Uh, and Spirit Siphon connected to him, turn out the big heavy, follows it down to the river, stays in the front line, fighting for his teammate, tanking all the damage. Man, I think the power of items and also the level was just too different. Just to be safe. Okay, Bell. They're looking to fight right after the Roshan has been slain. Not looking good, Bell. About to go down and it's Bell Falls. Medusa are in the center of everything doing the split shot and the rest, all the initiator, the team army genesis doing what worked fine as well. The uh, tiny, the uh, vampire and also the clockwork that has set up everything for Medusa. A lot of block. Take down the bar and says nothing much Team Neon Esport could do. They're call being thrown into the middle of the fight and falls real quick. 44 seconds. For the next respawn, look at that, Asura, even Desolator can't hold him down. Bell need to crawl back into the fountain, and Bell fall with no buyback as well. We might reach the end of the series, who knows? It's four downs for Team Neon Esports, and it's a GG call, Army Genesis. Oh, sweep Team Neon Esports 2-0 in the first series of BBC Southeast Asia 2-3. What a performance by them. Army Genesis is the victorious. Your nightmare continues.